From unbelievable comebacks to amazing game winners, March Madness has never really failed to entertain fans. There have been some pretty great moments in March Madness over the years, moments like George Mason's magical run. Everyone knows college basketball teams that aren't favorites don't usually make it too far in NCAA tournaments, but when this team did exactly that, everyone was shocked. In 2006, when George Mason's team made it to the Final Four, they sure did cause some jaws to drop. And Slater meet at midcourt. There are the officials. Sermons, Breeding, and Kemble. It was surprising because no one had done anything like it in a long time. And it was also the first time a team from the Colonial Athletic Association made it to the Final Four. If you think that was impressive, you should know that they were the first team from a mid-major school in over 27 years to make it to the Final Four. And wait, that's not all. Things are going to get better. Yes, they even beat teams like North Carolina, Michigan State, and Connecticut, which were way better than they were and their win against the Huskies especially is still remembered as one of the best wins in March Madness history. Going to work as Davis kicks it outside. Extra pass finding Bay. Now Fuller for I mean, it was pretty impressive. No one would have thought the tournament would take such a turn, especially since everyone thought the Huskies would win. But George Mason turned the game around and proved everyone wrong, making it one of the most memorable moments of the tournament. After that, the team's winning streak didn't last very long, and in April, they lost to the Florida Gators. But even after all that, what the team did that year was not only very impressive, but also one of the most memorable moments in March Madness history. It was wasn't the only shocking moment though. After all, I can't forget when North Carolina State beat Houston. As everyone knows, the history of March Madness is full of great wins, like the one NC State had over Houston. Back in 1983, the Houston Cougars were OP, and both teams engaged in some back and forth action. North Carolina took the lead early, but after halftime, the Cougars reminded everyone how good they truly were. But then NC State refused to let up and tied the game at 52. Following followed by Lorenzo Charles' spectacular game winner. So there's no question that when NC State beat them, it was one of the tournament's most memorable moments. Yes, this happened ages ago, but can you see why people still talk about it? It was exactly what you call a thing to remember. But it wasn't like everyone was expecting it. No one would have thought NC State would beat the Cougars, which made the whole thing even more memorable. This moment was so great because of how they were able to come back from behind and win in the end. I mean, who doesn't love comebacks, especially at the grandest stage. But Charles wasn't the only player to come up clutch on the big stage. Do you remember when Tyus Edney made that drive? In the 1994-95 season, the UCLA Bruins were on a great winning streak and seemed unstoppable. Everything was going so well for the team that fans and players were sure they would win their 11th national championship. But all of that seemed unlikely at one point. Why? Well, it's because everyone thought the team was going to lose to Missouri and it gave their fans a heart attack. Nobody thought they could come back from where they were, but thankfully for UCLA fans, the basketball gods had other plans. And with less than five seconds left, a game-changing moment occurred. The team was behind by one point, and then Tyus Edney happened. He was the player who stepped up and kept the Bruins from losing badly. So, how did he do it? First, he dribbled the ball all the way down the basketball court and then shot it just as the buzzer went off. So, it's clear that there's nothing too crazy about the shot itself, the magic was in the timing and accuracy. If he hadn't made the shot, I'd be telling a very different story right now. It was like a scene from a movie, and it made Edney a hero for the UCLA Bruins. UCLA moved forward because of that one shot, and Edney was the only one to thank for it. In the end, they beat Arkansas in the national championship game, so Tyus' shot will never be forgotten. Though, since I'm talking about game winners, I think it'd be wrong of me not to talk about one of the most famous ones, the game-winning shot by Keith Smart. This one shot wasn't only one of the most memorable moments in the tournament's history, but it also gave Keith a lot of attention. And honestly, a lot of the fame he has today is thanks to this single shot. This was a real turning point in his career, and no one saw it coming. This happened a long time ago in the 1987 National Championship game. A lot of nostalgia, huh? But believe me, it's worth it. It's one of the most 
famous moments in the history of the NCAA. So imagine this, in the final game between Indiana and Syracuse, there were only 10 seconds left, and Syracuse was only ahead by one point, so you know the pressure was already on. Everyone was on the edge of their seats waiting to see who would win. It was a very tense moment, not just for the audience, but especially for the players. Well, in this heated situation, one player stepped up and changed the whole situation. Yes, you guessed it right. This is when Keith made the shot that won the game and gave Indiana its fifth national championship. He was not only a hero for the team, but he also gave fans one of the most memorable moments in the tournament's history. Even though his career didn't last as long as fans would have liked, that one shot he made decades ago is still remembered. These moments aren't the only thing to be remembered about March Madness. The fans also remember the arguable GOAT and his memorable moments. Yes, I'm talking about Jordan Shot. The 1982 championship game had more stars than almost any other game. Six future Hall of Famers played in the game between North Carolina and Georgetown, including both head coaches. However, it was a freshman who really stood out. Michael Jordan, a 19-year-old North Carolina player, made the game-winning shot with 15 seconds left in the biggest game of the year. Honestly, not many people had an idea who this kid was, and the rest is history. Not much to be said, right? North Carolina won its first championship since the 1950s because of that shot, and they haven't slowed down since. James Worthy and Patrick Ewing are two other NBA legends that also featured in that game, and in 2018, another moment stood out. A star in the making, Jordan Poole shocked everyone. And how about the defense there? One second to work with. Jordan Poole from beyond midcourt. Bank it in! Oh! Banked it in! It looked like he knew it was going in, too. With only 3.6 seconds left on the clock, Michigan forward Isaiah Livers passed the ball to the team captain from the other side of the court. The job of the captain was to get the ball up the court. Michigan had hopefully got some time. There you go. So, Spellman Two. to Poole to get in the side. That's Bucko! Abdul Rahman got close to half court when Livers threw the ball with only one hand. He was able to get between two defenders and pass the ball to Jordan Poole, a freshman guard. With 1.6 seconds left, the ball got to Poole, and it was clear that he would take the last shot. He rifles it right in front of us to Abdul Rahman at midcourt. Extra pass. And it goes for the win! The three-pointer! No other play could be made. It all came down to the young star. Poole prayed and made a deep three-point shot with a defender in front of him, and luckily for him, he hit nothing but net. State has a lot of time. Poole with the ball. Launches. His squad won the game 64 to 63 and ended the Cougars' championship hopes. The crowd sure went wild and berserk. That's all from my end on some of the most shocking moments from March Madness over the years.